Hello, today we are looking at Soundbox by Audio Modern. It's their new sampler, and what I love so much about this is it's very beginner friendly. Now I know on the surface it might look quite complex, but in all honesty, once you wrap your head around a few things, it's quite simple, and it's for, I feel, both a beginner and a pro. Within this, you can just use it as a sampler and just play virtual instruments that you can purchase from their store. I know they're going to be coming out with some freebies as well, and we will be featuring those in free sample of the week. So watch out for those. But at the same time, you can dive quite deeply into the software and create your own virtual instruments using samples. Anyway, paperwork is right in front of you. You can look on their website and stuff for more details. But let's scratch the surface. We will also be looking at these three libraries, uh, sample libraries that they're releasing with the release of Sandbox as well. And just to clarify, Soundbox itself, the sampler itself is completely free, while these three individual libraries that came out on release are priced individually around the $29 mark. So not super expensive but this is the UI it's got a really pro feel to it in all honesty it feels like a softer version of contact if I'm allowed to say that but off the bat this is the main box that you open up it's also available Mac PC and iPad you can get this on an iPad which is really cool now off the bat you can see you've got four different layers you can solo each layer link each layer as well uh, load samples or different instruments in these boxes here let's unlink those you can also turn layers on and off i do like this idea of four different layers although i almost want more um, but even then that can get complicated quite quickly you've got controls so all your usual stuff is a legato mode poly mono uh, some transpositions as well and fine tuning which is nice effects so you can apply up to four effects at the moment on each one change where they are within the order you've got everything from reverb delay eq filters and these are quite simple to work with as well eq you've got different types here wet and dry so these aren't super complicated effects to wrap your head around again eq these are quite simple and to the point and again we can turn that off or you can just turn them off at the top very simple modulation again simple yet complex at the same time different waveforms different ways different layers here here's your layers and just different stuff you can do with it reset all clear all always nice there's an art to mess around with again not too simple not too complex a vector now this is where i really hope they develop because at the moment this is specifically tied to movements. If I turn this on, actually, oh wait, do I need to turn it on up? Here? There we go. Turn that on and turn that on there. We've got, you can see circle for movement. You can do square. You can use your mouse if you want. There's different things, there's random. I really hope they develop this so you can link reverb, delay other things to this because I think this could be a really cool feature that could be developed down the road. And of course, you've got your master. You can stick effects over there as well so again i really like that click on that back to the main page this little setting button is where you set your outputs your midi you can output midi as well up one two three and four you can output that to another device which i really like but for an initial release i 
quite like how simple this is. And if you are a creator who likes creating samples, click this little button here, the settings one, and you can drop your samples in here, save your presets. There's the sampler side of it. But moving on to the libraries that have come out, we have three and they are right down here. If I just scroll up a little bit, you've got Vox Motion, and you should see a nice change in color actually now if we back out of that. There we go, Vox Motion, Cosmo, and Chromium. I'm probably butchering that name. But what I love about this is how easy it is to navigate around the UI as well. You can break it down into genre, you can break it down to brass, guitar, picks, and then instead of going by library, you can go by sound as well. So really liking that, but specifically, we'll check out these three different libraries. One thing I'll add before that is the resize on this is really cool. I can't really, well, I can show you a little bit, but there's no small, medium, large. You can make it as big or as small as you want. Really like that. Anyway, let's start with Vox Motion. And as you can see, wow, where's the rest of them? Well, that's because I think I've got some genres selected. So let's turn that completely off and then there we have it, all that stuff. You can edit it, color coordinate it. There's all that stuff as well in the background. But let's fl flick through a couple of the sounds that you get with this. Loading our first one, you'll notice it turns off all the layers that it's not using. You'll also notice as well, it does apply some effects. I think specifically we have reverb on this, nothing else. And modulation is kind of left alone, ARP, vector master so let's shut up and just play with some of these sounds There's some beautiful one-shot samples. If you press settings, you can see all the samples there as well, which is always nice to see. Press close to close that. You'll also note you can drag and move around there as well. So you can do some funky stuff, especially maybe with some string instruments. You can maybe do something a little bit more interesting there. You'll note as well, if I click on that, you can scroll through samples as well, not just in this interface here. Let's flick through another one, vocal phrases F minor. I really like that reverb. If we just quickly turn that off to show you without it. Beautiful effect. And swiftly moving on, vocal phrases F minor 2.
do have some really cool effects as well. And for the price tag, I must admit, I really do enjoy this library. Look at how many sounds, phrases, effects, uh, multiphonics, what else, drones, and as you saw there, some more paddy stuff you're getting with this. And the quality is outstanding. And for the price tag, I cannot complain. Uh, let's try and find something a little bit more different. Got some breath effects. Cinematic screams. Deep forest vocals. And of course, you can go in, create your own, add more layers, change it up within here as well. Um, what I do find though with this is it kind of mixes between the libraries. It doesn't just stick with the one you're on. As you can see, these are all VX. These go a little bit more into it. Anyway, that is Vox Motive. I hope that gives you an idea of what that library entails. Let's move on to Cosmo. We'll start at the very top. Abstract piano. And in the effects, again, we can see reverb. I'll show you some different reverbs as well. And just bypass all of that. It's a nice resonance to it, although I don't know how often I would use a piano like that. Anyway, next, abstract artifacts. Beautiful and unique sound, skipping down a few. This is one where the ARP might really come into its own. But I feel this is a very easy ARP to work with. Let's move on in terms of sounds. Let's skip down a couple, go to a pad.
there's an example of what the delay can do for you. I'm going to stick some gain, a limiter on the end, because this is a little bit on the quiet side. Again, such a simple tool, the way they've laid it out is so simple, but so effective. Right, magnetic zither. Quite a range of sounds, mellow box. such a range of sounds and these are three separate libraries and I've noted that you do have to buy individually but the sample itself is free right ambient zither definitely some fun effects and so that I guess shows you what this library can offer you but quite a range of sounds and definitely something that's quite satisfying for the price tag again. And last but not least we have Chromium. I think that's how it's pronounced, probably not.
And I hope that gives you a taster of our third library. I feel these are more phrase libraries than anything, but you do have some interesting sounds, some very usable sounds, and a very good range of sounds. I really do like Soundbox. The initial release of this is absolutely amazing. I love how simple but yet complex it is at the same time. It's got all the tools I feel you need. Yes, there are features I would really like, especially with this vector that we've not really had much chance to dive into in all honesty. Um, but nevertheless, I think you understood what it does. But I feel as this develops, it will definitely become a good contender to something like contact. I'm intrigued to see the content that is released for it. But what do you think of this sampler? Is this something you see yourself using? What do you think of the sounds so far? I'm definitely intrigued to see what free stuff comes out for this as well, and I'll definitely be keeping my eye open for that. But thank you so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this video. See you in the next one.